Hi, my name is Chris and this is Battle Nonsense. If you want to capture your gameplay and own a Nvidia graphics card, then chances are that you are using Nvidia's Shadowplay. For me personally, Shadowplay pretty much replaced all the other recording software that I used in the past, since it's very easy to use, it barely has any impact on the game's frame rate, and the replay feature, which allows you to save the last few minutes of your gameplay, really helps to only store the gameplay that is actually worth to be saved and maybe used in a video. However, during the last few months, Shadowplay was driving me crazy. Video and audio were out of sync and instead of 60 FPS, the recorded video files had very strange frame rates as you can see here. The gameplay captures also either had a black frame every 1 to 3 seconds, or when it wasn't a black frame, it would show a still image from an earlier point in the game. And then there also was insane flickering like you can see here. So to fix that issue, I tried to reinstall the drivers and Windows experience, I disabled G-Sync, I tried to record to a different drive, I disabled desktop recording, I tried different recording settings, I even did a clean installation of Windows 10, but nothing worked. So since I had to record gameplay for my videos, I set out to find another recording software that also has a replay feature and next to no impact on the game's frame rate, like Shadowplay. I think that I found a solution, which not only ticks all those boxes, but is also interesting for streamers, which I will tell you more about in one of my upcoming videos. But today I want to tell you what caused Shadowplay to break, as I spent pretty much the entire weekend trying to figure out what was going wrong. I hope that this information will help some of you to fix the issues that you have with that feature. So, after I tried all the things that I told you about before, I thought that my Zotac 1080 Mini might be broken and that's why Shadowplay wasn't working anymore. So I removed the 1080 from my system and put a Gigabyte 1070 from my test PC in my main PC. And I got the exact same issue again. So the 1080 can't be the problem as Shadowplay works fine on my test PC with the 1070. So I put the 1080 back in my PC, disconnected all non-essential devices and suddenly the issue was gone. The recorded video files had 60 FPS, audio and video were in sync and there were no black or repeated frames. Then I reconnected the USB devices one by one and everything was working fine until I connected my second monitor. With two monitors connected to the Zotac 1080 Mini, Shadowplay produced corrupted videos. Disconnect the second monitor and Shadowplay was working fine again. It didn't matter where I connected the second monitor to, Shadowplay broke as soon as both were connected. Now, I've been using a multi-monitor setup with the 1080 for quite some time and Shadowplay used to work fine. So what was going on here? Out of sheer desperation, I then simply switched the two monitors and boom, Shadowplay recordings were fine again, even though both monitors were connected. As it turns out, when I use just one monitor, then it doesn't matter where I connect it to on my graphics card. But as soon as I use more than one monitor, I must not connect my primary monitor to the DisplayPort connector that is the closest to the PCIe connector. I can use it for an additional monitor, but if I use it for my primary monitor, then I will get these broken Shadowplay recordings. Now again, if this would only happen with the Zotac 1080 Mini, then I would think that this card is broken. But I doubt that this is the case as the exact same issue happens with the 1070 from Gigabyte and I doubt that both cards have the same defect. I also doubt that it's the monitors as the issue also happens when I make the other monitor my primary display and the DisplayPort cables can't be the problem either as I did replace them with new ones. The mainboard on my PC also can't be the issue as I can reproduce the problem on my test PC with both the 1070 and the 1080. I tried this many many times with different combinations and I could always trigger the issue very easily with both graphic cards, different monitors and on two different PCs. It seems to me that I found a rare bug that only occurs in multi-monitor configurations when you have the primary monitor connected to a specific DisplayPort connector on the graphics card. So if your Shadowplay recordings also have frame rate issues, a black or repeated frame every few seconds, or if the video and audio are out of sync, then you might want to try to simply plug your monitor cable into a different port on your graphics card and maybe this fixes the issue just like it did for me. Another issue that I would also like to mention is that if you see an image of your desktop appear in your Shadowplay recordings, like you can see here in this example, 
then you might want to disable the desktop recording by going into the shadow play options and changing the privacy control setting from yes to no. So that's all that I've got for you today. Let me know in the comments down below if you have the same problem with shadow play and if connecting the monitor to a different port helped. And stay tuned for my upcoming video where I will tell you more about the shadow play alternative, which might also be very interesting for streamers. If you enjoy my videos, then it would be great if you could support me on Patreon, as YouTube's ad revenue is sadly not enough anymore to run a niche channel like mine. Without the awesome support that I get from my patrons, Battle Nonsense could not exist anymore. You can find a link to my Patreon in the description down below, where you can also find links to my social accounts in case that you want to stay up to date on the videos that I'm working on. So if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, have a nice day and take care. My name is Chris and this was Battle Nonsense.